All right, Evan, first things first, how you feeling this spring? Feeling really good. Had a good offseason. Got to rebuild a lot of strength uh, you know, that I may have lost last season. Uh, over the course of the year, but came into camp real strong and uh, feeling good so far. Yeah, and last year you established yourself as one of the very best relievers in all of Major League Baseball. What's the biggest key in you continuing that momentum into the season? Yeah, just continuing to refine each skill each and every day, taking advantage of that catch play, uh, all those bullpen sessions and those spring training games where we'll, we'll be able to uh, get back into the rhythm of things and then um, adapt to the new rules as well. Yeah, and speaking of those new rules, what are your thoughts so far on the pitch clock, on some of the going over to first? What are your thoughts, your initial impressions? You know, I think there's just going to be an adjustment period. I think um, everyone's going to have a different approach to it. I think I'm just going to try to do my best to do what I've always done. And if I need to adjust, I'll work on it from there. Yeah. Yeah, baseball's always had this unique flavor in that it's the timeless game. There is no clock. Is it going to be weird just seeing a clock out there? It's going to impact you mentally, even if you're a guy that works fast and really is not going to be impacted by it. Yeah, you know, I think that it'll just take time to get the feel of it. I think uh, I watched a game yesterday and I saw like four pitches go in the span of a minute. And I feel like, you know, I'm a little bit more deliberate than that. Uh, hopefully I can get those nuances out of the way here in spring and not have to worry about it come regular season. Yeah, and just looking at it from a fan's perspective, do you think it's just better for the game, shorter games? I mean, what are your thoughts on that goal of an intended purpose? Yeah, I think the intended purpose is definitely sound. You know, the, I'm sure the fans would appreciate a quicker game, and honestly, most players would appreciate a quicker game. I think uh, the struggles with it are just going to be that the abrupt change. Um, so there's just going to be an adjustment period. You know, hopefully we knock all that out here this spring because uh, it would be a shame to see those things affect regular season games. Absolutely. And I was going to talk a little about your pitch mix last season. Through that slider over 44% of the time with that slider, that cutter, is your pitch mix the same this season? Are you tinkering with anything or are you just going to go with what worked last year? Yeah, you know, like I said, it just um, coming back in the spring, it's more about refining those tools that I created last year. So um, definitely getting the, the sinker and slider ready and then the cutter as well. Uh, still throw my four-seam fastball on, on occasion at times. So getting all those things to round out before regular season is the goal. And I'm um, definitely on the good start. Yeah, and then last year you led the Dodgers 64 appearances. You more than doubled your innings count. Are you doing anything as far as preparation goes to really physically withstand this increased workload? Yeah, you know, our staff is all over it uh, from a pitching staff or a coaching staff, uh, training staff, strength and conditioning. Those guys are, you know, they know exactly what I need to do. We have a plan to, to, to attack what I'm – might be facing this year based off of what I did last year. So, uh, you know, each and every day I'll go about, you know, my, my preparation um, you know, in such a way where I'm preparing myself to pitch, you know, each and every day, just like I did last year. Yeah, and last season, not many people saw you coming. You weren't on a lot of people's radar. Now you're really a household name, especially for guys like me, really establishing yourself as one of the best relievers in the game. How are you kind of handling that increased recognition? And is there a little bit of pressure just kind of feeling that way? You know, I'm trying not to to notice it. Um, I still think of myself the same way I did last year. I just want to go out there and, and do what I can on a day-to-day -day basis to help us win. And I think keeping that external mindset has really helped my you know my personal goals stay out of the way. Um, obviously, I'm very thrilled to be in the position I am now. Uh, but in my opinion, I think there's still more, plenty more I can do. Yeah, and then, of course, we know about the pitching, coaching, the development of the Dodgers. you got Mark Pryor put you guys in the lab. What's the biggest thing you've learned from them that they've helped you really reach your potential? You know, when I first got here, I was dealing with a lot of self-doubt and confidence issues from uh, being the, where, I, where I was and the position I put myself in. So um, coming to this team and, and putting on this uniform, uh, that alone should give you confidence. Uh, so these guys believed in me from day one. They believed what I could be. And um, we stuck to that process. And they laid out you know, a blueprint and said, hey, if you can check off these boxes and do these things, we think you can have success. And uh, I think we proved that last year. Excellent. So, of course, I ask you about your role. We know the Dodgers have had so many elite closers throughout the year. That position really has been manned by certain guys. This year, it's pretty much wide open. Just kind of what are your thoughts on your role? Have they told you anything? You know, I would expect to pitch in the same fashion I did last year. And um, you know, perhaps that will include a bit more of the ninth inning. But um, nothing has been phrased to me or I believe anybody else about a specific uh, closer role. I think we, we value that position differently. Um, we value getting outs and from top to bottom throughout our bullpen. We know we can get the job done. And sometimes the game doesn't come down to the bottom of the ninth, right? you got to face the me, the order, the top of the lineup. And you're that high leverage guy. But I just kind of want to ask you about the idea of the closer's mentality. Is there a different mindset going out there to slam the doors shut? Up there in the bottom of the night, the top of the night? I think, uh, you know, all the pressure, you know, comes from the outside. And you, yeah, everyone yeah. knows, like, the ninth inning means it's the end of the game. But I think I, I took more pride in, in some of the big outs I got last year in, in different situations. You know, I had a couple of situations where I did get saves, too. 
and uh, it does feel different to finish the game. But uh, knowing I get big outs for our team to help win games is, is the priority. So sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, whatever situation, whatever group of hitters, as long as I know we're helping the team win, I think that's the that's the mindset across our entire pen. And honestly, that's the mindset of our entire team. I think. Um, you know, Clayton said it in a meeting the other day, win the game. Win the game is the only goal we have here. Awesome. Yeah, I just want to talk to you about some of your teammates, too, some of these younger guys. Has anyone stood out? Who impressed you so far? Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of new faces here. I've seen a lot of really good things from all, all of our young starting pitchers. You know, Ryan Pepio, Gavin Stone, uh, to name a few. And then um, I swear all of our bullpen guys look electric right now. Uh, Victor Gonzalez, he was uh, absolutely filthy in a bullpen the other day. So uh, it's good to see a lot of these guys come into camp and be ready to compete. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Evan Phillips. That is Evan Phillips, the Dodgers' high leverage reliever. He's the man. Appreciate it, Evan. Absolutely. Have a good